Hi friends, this is Ben Sangroth with the Learning Technology Center of Illinois and today I want to take a moment to talk about creating a daily journal using Google Slides. So this is something that is really powerful for any learning situation, taking Google Slides and making it more than a presentation. Uh, however, right now we're recording this in March of 2020, we're in the midst of uh, the coronavirus school shutdown and this might be a great way I think for students to connect with teachers outside of school. Um, you could have, you could send this journal out through Google Classroom and your students could update it throughout the day with things they're doing, activities that they're into, um, pictures, videos, how, whatever you want, uh, and have it uploaded much the same as they could do with academic content as well. So you could, you could have them, you could essentially use the Google Slideshow as a way for them to journal their activities and give you updates on a particular topic or you know, things that they're just up to in their daily lives. So I think this is a really cool idea. Uh, and so I wanted to kind of explore it with you all. So here we'll have it. So we're jumping into Google Slides. Here's, uh, this is actually a theme that I got from the website Slides Mania. So you can see here's Slides Mania here. And this is one of the templates that I found while I was searching through. If you're unfamiliar with Slides Mania, check it out. They have so many different templates for Google Slides and PowerPoint. It's really an awesome resource and they're really creative and really fun. So you can scroll through and find just a number of different things. And I found one that was perfect uh, for what I wanted to do and I didn't have to create it. It was already created for me, which is great. So inside of this uh, template, what I would do is I would set this up as my student's daily journal. So you can see I took their little image of the notebook here. This is just a text box changed it to daily journal, ask the student to put their name in, and then we can click through and you can kind of adapt this to be whatever it wants to be for your particular content area or the particular activity that you want your students to uh, look at. So like we've got an introduction here, the talking points, these are more for you, I think, or you could put these in for your kids so that way they kind of know what's going on, right? And then I just have a couple of slides here, day one, and then the next slide is has that notebook back, right? And on the left side of what did you do today? And then you can add an image, audio, video to uh, the right-hand side of that particular page. So I think this is a really cool thing because as you scroll through, you see here we have day two and then the same thing and then day three and another notebook. So when we get to the end, you notice we kind of ran out of days. That's fine because you want to add as many days as you want. Maybe you don't want to do this every day. Maybe you want to do it every other day something that fits your particular schedule. So all I'm gonna do is just go over here, click on day three or my last day, uh, hold shift down on my keyboard, click on slide nine so I have the notebook as well, and then we can right click on this and say duplicate slides. And when we do that, we've duplicated those slides down. You could also do a copy and paste when you do a control C and then control V once you have those, and then paste those slides in as many times as you want, and then go back through and change the day number to reflect the particular day that you want your students to update that. So it doesn't have to be numerical days, you could put actual days of the week down. That's up to you and what works for your kiddos. Um, the reason I like Google Slides for this, I mean, you can use it for, you know, other tool would be Book Creator would be amazing for this as well. Uh, but I really you know, wanted to kind of focus on a Google tool for this particular video. One of the things that's awesome about Google Slides is that it has a mobile app. I want to take a minute and dive into mobile app integration so that way you can reach your students anywhere they're at, regardless on if they have a Chromebook or laptop at home. Okay, so here's the mobile app for Google Slides. Your students can download this onto their cell phones, works on Android, works on iOS, and when they log in with their accounts, they're able to access their Google Slideshow. So you can see I'm in my phone here. I can now click into my data daily journal and I have access to edit this. So this is in real time with what's going on in my slide deck right now. So I could say go to the introduction page here and I want to maybe put my picture in here. So on the mobile app it's really quite fun because you can hit the plus sign that's up there in the top bar and when you do that you get all the things you can add including image and then from there we can choose either a camera roll photo so maybe you have them take a picture of an activity that they were doing in their yard. Um, or you can have them take a picture right in the moment. So they can say from camera, you can see it opens up my camera. I'm gonna flip it around, take my selfie, use photo, and it drops right in. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the check mark. And you can see if I just shift this over back to this page, there's my selfie that I can drag in and move onto my introduction page. And the same thing's happening on my phone. So I can actually click on this 
and move it around or resize it if I wanted to. So that's pretty cool and I think something that is really fun uh, for kids to be able to leverage their cell phones and Google Slides and make this daily journal to kind of keep them you know, organized and on top of things as they're off school for an extended period of time. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, be sure uh, to follow along. The LTC is cranking out tons of content for you all as you go through uh, this period of uh, school closings and uh, remote learning. So thanks for watching and uh, good luck.